happy Friday, you guys. Happy first day to your weekend. Um, and good morning. It's early. You guys, I've been getting up really, really early lately and getting my whole life together before, you know, normal. Because I would go to bed after Amari leaves for school. I would get back in my bed and wake up at like this time and then lag around and then try to get my life together. But lately, I have been up with energy, feeling good. But guess what I've been doing? Literally, I feel like this has a lot to do with the energy that I have, you guys. Like, no, I'm dead serious. I've been taking the apple cider vinegar and turmeric, and I'm telling you, I really feel like I have a whole lot of energy, like a ton of energy, and it's like not normal. That's not normal energy that I have, and it feels natural, it feels good. I don't feel like a crash later on or whatever, but I think that's it, you guys. I really believe that is the answer to why am I feeling like I have all of this energy. So I've been doing the apple cider vinegar um, all week, and um, I have noticed a difference. Like I feel like all of that bloatedness that I had um, while I was when I came home from being on the road is gone. I don't have that bloat, bloated feeling anymore. And um, I'm just feeling really good. And I also haven't been eating any carbs. So I don't wanna say I'm on a diet, but I have been trying to watch what I eat and maybe do like, what do you call it? like clean eating. I eat eggs in the morning. And um, basically what I have been doing was looking at like keto, um like meals and recipes and i've actually been making those like for dinner and the kids actually has been loving them too even amari um so basically we've just been eating vegetables and meat and um like cutting out carbs as much as possible but i've really been like not really eating any carbs at all except for yesterday i did have a glass of wine or two um but that was it so I don't want to say it's a diet, but I'm just changing a few things, you know, around here as far as what we eat and, um, you know, that, that, because I feel like <laughs> when I came home, that weight was all the way out of control. But anyways, um, I'm boiling some, tell me you guys, do you, have you guys ever boiled like fabuloso? You guys see that? I boil, I'm boiling Fabuloso in um, a small pot and um, have water in it as well because Amari didn't take the trash out last night and um, you could smell it. So I'm trying to clear out the air in the house. Um, by doing that, I boil Fabuloso. I used to do that all the time when I had the daycare. I started off um, boiling pine saw. It just kind of freshens the air and um, I want to say clean the air. My husband used to always say his grandmother told him that it would like kill the germs and stuff like that and it made sense to me. So I started doing it and I haven't done it in a while, but today I am. So I'm here again alone. Uh, the kids are at school and baby's gone. And um, today I have a couple of things that I'm going to be doing. I one have to finish some shirts that I started making for um, my friend's daughter. Her birthday is, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. One of those, one of these days this week. And tomorrow, her and a group of her friends are going to the Great Wolf Lounge or Lodge or something like that. Anyways, and her mom wanted some shirts made for her and like four of her little friends. So I made one um, and it came out really, really cute. I have everything like cut out and ready to just be printed onto the shirts, but I do need one more um, color of that vinyl. I'm all out. So I have to go grab another one of those so that I could finish it, have those ready by today and what else I needed to do? I think I want to go to um, the store because I want to get some more um, things for the house. Um, tonight I might make a chicken pizza like with chicken crust pizza. I've seen that and I thought, wow, look really good. So I'm going to try that and see how it works. But other than that, you guys, I am um, getting ready to have my breakfast. 
about to make these eggs and I'll be back. All right guys, I'm gonna show you guys the shirts that I made, or the shirt that I made so far. Oh, look, it's clean. Oh, you guys, you don't know how good this feels to have no shoes down here in my walkway. So I cleaned the office as well. But anyways, you guys, here is the shirt that I made. That's the one. And it says Paris Ooh La La. That's the little girl's name. Her name is Paris. And um, she's turning 10. Or she did turn 10 already. And on the back it says birthday girl and then the number 10. Really cute. So what I'm going to do for the other shirts is... Um, I think they, the mom wants to have like birthday crew or birthday... Um, birthday crew or birthday something else um, on the top instead of the names and then this right here and then they, the other show search will not have um, anything on the back so that is that and yeah so I have the other shirts here just gotta go grab some more of that pink because I am all out of the pink and I've already printed out everything um, that I have to print out but I gotta get one more because there's a total of five shirts and yeah so this is the color um, the pink that I need to uh, get so I'm gonna grab one more of those and I might just get another sheet of this because I don't want to come back and then I don't have enough like this could be enough to say crew or something but I don't know so I'm gonna grab another one of those but yeah you guys that's uh what I'm gonna be working on today and then I have to work on Kayla's locker um this thing here I have to work on her locker you know they the uh parents get to decorate the kids lockers coming up this month and they give you like a little template and this is the template here so this part will go over the um the actual locker um uh, you know the what do you call that the lock that will go between there and then you're supposed to decorate this and then you put you just put it on the locker so that it's decorated on that and not the actual locker and then she can bring it home or whatever i don't know, get some what do you call that? those magnetic um, tape strips so that it'll go on the locker. That's what the lady told me. Works really good for that. So yes, you guys, uh, I cleaned up down here. I got my office together. I actually cleaned out that closet as well. I'll show you guys. Because I know I showed you guys before how ugly it was. But it's come a long way. It's not all the way how I want it, but it's better than the way it was. I got some type of organization in here now so you guys could see that these are the shoes that are gonna go like on racks and I put these are babe's clothes that he needs to go through but yeah before you guys this closet was a whole raggedy mess so now I kind of got some organization I could see the floor just got to figure out what to do with these shoes put all my shoes in boxes and put them up i probably should get up there once i bring that little ladder downstairs and straighten that up up there but other than that you guys i was so happy to get that done and i did this the other day this was the first day of taking the apple cider vinegar i cleaned my whole house i cleaned up the foyer down here cleaned up my office vacuumed all the, i mean i was on it i didn't bring the camera out because i was just ready to go i was so i had so much energy so i was finally able to get that done and when i tell you i'm happy your girl is happy so i'm gonna get ready to run out head to the place so i can come back and have these shirts done um and not be worried about it all day not wait till the last minute you guys i have so much to do this weekend and it has a lot to do with this garage 
I have to clean out the garage because we're gonna be um, getting rid of our storage. I wish that I gotta figure out how could I find people who need furniture and just give it to them because I have a lot of stuff in storage that I don't even wanna bring here. Um, so I'll have to work on that today, but I have to get this garage organized because I'm gonna move some stuff out of storage and be putting some things in here. So I'm gonna have to clean out the garage throw stuff away get rid of stuff organize it and bring some stuff here or before the month is over within the next few weeks i'll be making sure that everything is in here before the, the month is over because baby's tired of that bill and so am i because it's unnecessary it's like our stuff is sitting there we're not using it um and there's important things in there that we want to get out and just just be done with that because we've been here a year and a year and a half maybe about a year and a half and you know just paying that is a lot so that's one burden off our back we could just get rid of that storage so yeah i'm gonna be figuring out that but oh my god i'm not looking forward to cleaning out this garage it's so much stuff i've done it before but it's just um now i have to figure out what to do with a lot of this stuff that's already in here and there's a lot of stuff in here that i could probably give away or donate to um i don't want to sell it because i feel like there's people out there that need stuff and i know god has blessed us and i want to be a blessing to somebody else so i'd rather do things that way and god will bless me in the end so i'd rather get my payment on the back end because God is good, you guys. So, um, yeah. So I'm getting ready to head over to get more vinyl so that I can head back and um, start that, you know, right away. Have that done because let me tell you, time flies. I got my vinyl and I'm headed back home, you guys. Really? Wow. So I'm headed back home, you guys. I didn't mention to you guys um, about Nipsey Hussle. We didn't talk about that. Um, Nipsey is um, a rapper that's from like Los Angeles, California. Like that's where I'm from. Um, and he was known for like doing great things in his community. Um, being just like a positive image bringing gangs together and trying to bring unity into the community and creating jobs and you know just an all-around good guy like really and um, his service was yesterday he was shot and killed outside of his store and it just really affected a lot of people in the community because he did so much he cared so much about everybody and everything that was going on so um, I didn't mention that to you guys or I didn't bring it up but I thought that I wanted to you know just say that because he was a great guy so I wanted to acknowledge him and um, pray for his family Lauren London is his girlfriend and they had a baby together so a lot of people here in Georgia really didn't know about Nipsey or I mean because I guess it was would be considered West Coast and you know a lot of rappers out there or music out there which i'm not really a rap fan i don't really hear a lot of that stuff or listen to a lot of it but my husband do and my kids do so that's how i kind of know about who certain people are but um there's there's some that stand out more than others because of um the positivity and you know what they're doing and he was one of them so i had to say something about nipsey and it was so unfortunate how his life was taken away and his mother oh my god I don't know if you guys have seen um, any of her videos or any of um, the service that they aired yesterday she's so her name is Angel Angelique I think and she's a very angelic person like for real like I wish I could sit with her and talk with her I would be able to talk with her for hours she's that her words I mean I can't believe the things that the lady was saying like it takes a strong individual a special one why is my camera like yeah 
Let me try to fix this because I can't, I don't think you guys can see me. I think that helped. I had to change a setting, but I guess not. I don't know what's up with this camera. It, it changing like from lighting to lighting. It's supposed to automatically do that, but I don't feel like it does a good job. But anyways, as I was saying that his mother was just so very motivating and she spoke so positively regarding her son's death that it was kind of like crazy she said she was at total peace with everything she believes that everything is in god's divine timing and i do agree um but to see a mother stand there and have to speak about her child's passing and the way she did it was phenomenal i mean it takes a lot and she understands the purpose of life she understood you know everything about life and our time to go so it was like not a big deal for her not saying that it wasn't a big deal but she understands and trusts God so that's what helped her to stay strong and to be um, you know at peace with what's happened so I pray that I can get that same kind of courage and strength that that woman has and let me tell you something that I believe wholeheartedly that it's nothing but God that's filled in her that gives her that strength so I just wanted to say that and just um, talk about that because she's really been like on my mind like ever since I heard her speak she's been there heavily because I really admire the lady at this point so but anyways I'm almost back home I got what I need and I can get back working on the shirts and get those done and move on to whatever else I have to do um, today I need to make a list of stuff that I need from the store I know I need to go but I'm not quite sure exactly what I need just yet so I gotta sit down put my thoughts together and uh, figure it out so I don't just go in there spending stuff randomly and not come out with <laughs> what I need because I do that all the time you guys I am so frustrated right now because I went and got some more vinyl and when I went to get the vinyl I came back home set everything up printed everything out and didn't click to mirror the image so when you don't click to, to mirror the image which means flip the image it prints like like regular it prints like I wrote it but when you mirror it you're supposed to um, mirror it so that when you flip it on the shirt, it reads properly. So I just wasted all of this vinyl on just by not mirroring. So I've had to go back to the vinyl store, get some more vinyl, and then redo everything. So now my thing is telling me are you sure you want to cancel yes i want to cancel because it keeps telling me like the program is on somewhere else as well and i don't know what all of that mean i think i'm just restart the computer and start from scratch i'm almost done i have two shirts that i have to finish this is one of them this is the birthday girls shirt right here it says Paris, ooh la la. Did I show you guys? I did. I already showed you guys this one. So this is hers and here's one of the other one. It says birthday squad. So I'm trying to uh, finish. I have two already done so I have to make two more and then I'll be done. But I feel like these last two shirts are giving me the hardest time and it's it's really not that complicated if i had just mirrored it the first time everything would have been a okay and i would have been done but oh no couldn't do that so now i'm just waiting for the computer to restart and it's hot you guys it's really hot right now it's almost well it is 2 30 it's 2 28 and uh, maya called wants to go have lunch when they get home from school so i told her sure why not <sighs> all done you guys i think they came out so super cute you got the birthday squad shirts and then you got the birthday girl shirt 
with her little stuff on the back the other girls these shirts don't have anything on the back i just think they're just adorable and i'm loving the colors um the mom let me design them and she was just like she liked the color purple so i'm happy now hey guys sorry we left you guys in here we left you guys in the whole car so we are at i'm sorry not getting my whole hair but we are at frontera mexican grill eating some good food and by the time we got in there i was like oh my god we didn't get the camera <laughs> Hi guys, um, so I'm vlogging right now. I'm here with Maya and my mom. And right now, we are at Pontera. We're eating food. We just got home from school. And Maya suggested that we went to Pontera, so that's where we are. And um, so yeah, we're getting our drinks right now. Hold on. Thank you. Really quick. Thank you. What did you get your drink? Okay. So, um, I have to tell you guys some good news. <laughs> oh, look, the battery's dying, so let me hurry up. Um, I passed my gateway, which is a grace by God. Is that what they call it? Grace by God. <laughs> because I, if you guys don't know, I was stressing so much about it because in California, we didn't have to do it. So coming out here, it was that was like something big for me. And I didn't know if I was capable of passing, especially because I don't really know how to well, I know how to do like, um, what do you call it, essays and stuff, but it's not my, uh, it's not what I like to really do. So, um, it kind of really stressed me out because I didn't, you know, I didn't want to do it. And yeah, but I passed it. I had to be able to get 500. I would get, I got 585 on the science. So that's almost eight, that's 85 points, which is good. And then on my other one, I had like five, was it 25 or 45? It had to be like 5, 25 or 45. And um, so yeah, I think those are high scores, especially for someone that's really, don't know what they're doing. that really don't know what they're doing and just, you know, hanging on by the grace of God. So <laughs> yeah, um, I was happy about that. Uh, now I'm down to one more month and then I graduate and then life starts. Oh yeah, I'm not going to prom. I don't want to go to prom. Literally, um, and I know a lot of people that's like this. I thought I was the only one, but I guess I'm not. Way. She ain't going to prom either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's my, you know, little talk of the day. Um, I don't, you guys haven't really seen us in a while. Not because my mom's been like on uh, the road with my dad. And then um, she got home and she really didn't vlog that much for I don't know what reason. She's doing like, I'm not doing like a natural thing with my hair. I just took it out my weave so that next month I can put it back in the weave for graduation. And I think I want to color my hair for graduation as well. Like honey streak blonde. Oh no. Oh, that was cute. Just not streak weave. No, not my real hair. Oh, the weave hair. I don't know. I gotta see. Um. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. You wanna say something, Maya? Maya? Okay. Margarita's on margarita. Let me see. On me ice. See? Margarita's on light ice. <laughs> With sugar. Light ice. I did not say that. <laughs> 